the day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Friday, February 4, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Houston Rockets vs San Antonio Spurs. Let's take a look at the San Antonio Spurs team. At the moment, they enter this game in a bit of a slump, losing 5 of their last 7 games overall, and will be playing on no rest with playing the Miami Heat on Thursday night. Before their clash with the Heat, they fell to the Golden State Warriors in a 124-120 loss. Dejant Murray led the team with 27 points, 9 rebounds and 9 assists and Keldon Johnson added 21 points of his own. These two teams have met twice this season with each team winning on the other's home floor. Houston took the first game in San Antonio 128-124 on January 12. The Spurs were without Doug McDermott, Tree Jones and Derek White due to COVID-19 protocols. Houston shot 55% from the field and 46% from the 3PT stripe. In the second matchup on January 25, the Spurs won in a rout at Houston, 134-104. Houston shot just 41% from the floor in this one and 27% from 3PT range. The Spurs were fully healthy for the second game and jumped on Houston early for an easy win. In the third matchup, with both teams at full strength, I favor the Spurs. Despite playing the second game of a back-to-back, -back, San Antonio's highly efficient defense trumps the erratic play of the Rockets. In the two contests, the Spurs are averaging 129 points against the Rockets' inefficient defense. Murray is a tough matchup for any team but has been a nightmare for Houston, getting a triple-double in the first matchup and a double-double in the second. The Spurs have difficulty with teams that are efficient on offense and can force the ball out of Murray's hands on defense, Houston does not do either of those things particularly well. With its full roster in place, look for San Antonio to lay a double-digit defeat on the Rockets. A key factor in the outcome of this game may be the Spurs' health. The team, after seemingly overcoming injuries in recent weeks, has been bitten again in recent days by the injury bug. Murray missed a heat game with a sore left wrist, and his status is questionable for Friday's game. In addition, McDermott, ankle, and Portal, concussion, may both be game-time decisions as well. Coach Pop did take precautions in Thursday night's game, including resting White for the entire fourth quarter. In addition, former Blazers Ak Collins should make his Spurs debut on Friday night. The oft-injured power forward was originally the 10th pick in the NBA draft just three seasons ago out of Gonzaga. He will provide San Antonio depth inside and another shooter on the floor if he can stay healthy. Our first betting pick will be San Antonio minus 3. After years of success that produced five world championships over the course of 15 years, it has been a slow, arduous rebuild for the San Antonio Spurs. The team has never fully embraced the tanking philosophy and even appeared to be building a new championship contender before having to part ways with disenchanted superstar Kawhi Leonard in 2018. Since then, the Spurs and head coach and GM Greg Popovich have been slowly piecing together a team that can eventually compete for the title, doing so without the benefit of top five draft picks. It's not a surprise, then, that the Spurs sit in 12th place in the Western Conference this season with a record of 19-33. Our second betting pick will be over 234.5. Atlanta Hawks vs Toronto Raptors. Toronto had a last-second shot by Scotty Barnes to force OT, and the starters were the reason the Raptors got the win. Pascal Siakam led the way with 25 points, while Laga Nunabi, Fred VanVleet, and Barnes all had 21 points, while Gary Trent Jr. added 16 points. The Raptors have relied heavily on their starting five, and this season, VanVleet is leading the way averaging 21.5 ppg, Siakam is averaging 21, while Anunabi is at 18.7 ppg, and Trent Jr. is at 18.2 points. Both teams are playing the second game of a back-to-back -back year, so there's no major rest advantage involved here. The one plus goes in favor of the Raptors, as they don't have to travel for the second half of their back-to-back -back as they were at home Thursday. Meanwhile, Atlanta had to play Phoenix and then fly up to Toronto for this contest. Weather in the Northeast is also expected to be a bit dicey, which could impede travel and can't be overlooked. The Raptors are clicking right now, and the Hawks may or may not be without Young, as his status was murky for Thursday's contest at the time of writing. Our first betting pick will be Toronto Raptors, Moneyline. 
On the season, Toronto stands 21st in scoring offense, as they put up an average of 107.5 points per game this season. The Raptors are 14th in rebounding with 44.8 boards a night, while they are 28th by dishing out an average of 21.9 assists a night. Toronto stands 9th in scoring defense, as they allow an average of 106.5 points a night. Aga Nunabi is 3rd on the team, with an average of 18.7 points, plus 5.6 rebounds per game. Scotty Barnes, 14.6 points, 7.8 rebounds, Fred Van Vliet, 21.5 points, 7 assists, Gary Trent Jr., 18.2 points, and Precious Achiua, 7.8 points, 7.3 rebounds, are solid offensive options this season. Pascal Siakam contributes 21 points, 8.3 rebounds and 4.9 assists per contest this season. Kem Birch, Goran Dragic, Spy Mikhailiuk, Chris Boucher, Delano Banton and Isaac Bonga are all looked at to help Nick Nurse's squad. The Raptors are 25th in the league in field goal percentage, as they shoot 43.8% from the floor as a team. Toronto stands 15th by knocking down 12.33 pointers a night, while they are 17th in 3-point field goal percentage, as they sink 35% of their attempts on the season. Dragic Personal has been out since November 13 with no timetable for return. Birch, Nose, underwent surgery and is expected to be out again here. Atlanta is 7th in the league in field goal percentage by hitting 46.6% of their shots from the floor this season. The Hawks are 11th in threes per game, as they hit 12.5 per contest, and stand 3rd in three-point percentage, as they hit 37.4% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Williams, back, was out Thursday, and Young, shoulder, was questionable for that contest. Keep an eye out for updates on either player's status for this one. Our second betting pick will be over 217.5. Philadelphia 76ers vs Dallas Mavericks. Joe Lemby had had another great game, dropping 27 points with 14 rebounds and 6 assists. Therese Maxey, who has really emerged in Simmons' absence, added 22 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists, while Tobias Harris chipped in with 18 points and 8 rebounds. Embiid is having an MVP caliber year averaging 29.1 points and 10.4 rebounds. Maxi is scoring 16.9 points and dishing out 4.8 assists per game, while Harris is averaging 18.9 points per game. The Sixers average 107.8 points per game, 20th in the NBA, and they give up 105.5 points per game, which is 8th. The Mavs have lost to two of the worst teams in the league in back-to-back -back games. Oklahoma City kicked in the doors of the American Airlines Center and handed them a 120-114 loss on their home floor. Luka was pretty magical in that game 40 points, 10 assists, and 6 rebounds and, it still wasn't enough to get the win. The Sixers clearly have problems as well, but they were on a 5-game winning streak before they dropped the loss to Washington. One of their biggest weaknesses this season is their inability to win on the boards. However, they'll be running into a Mavs team among the bottom 6 rebounding teams in the league. Joe Lambiot is averaging more buckets than Doncic, and he'll be facing a Mavs team playing without Kristaps Porzingis and Tim Hardaway Jr. He's going to have his way down low terrorizing Dallas's defense, along with Sixers forward Tobias Harris. Our first betting pick will be Philadelphia 76ers to cover the spread. The Mavs are bereft of the necessary talent to truly compete. I'm not going to come on here and start pointing the finger at Jalen Brunson, Maxi Kleber and Dorian Finney-Smith. There's too much Luka and not enough help in Dallas. The Mavs should beware because Doncic might not be willing to waddle in mediocrity in hopes of winning a one-off championship later in his career, like legendary forward Dirk Nowitzki finally did. For now at least, the Mavs will continue trying to win with a one-man band on Friday night against the Sixers. Not having Porzingis at center will cause even more headaches with the team trying to stop Joel Embiid. The Sixers' star center is averaging 29.1 points per game, and he'll be facing a Mavs team that was already middle of the pack defensively inside of the arc. Porzingis and Tim Hardaway Jr. being gone means the Mavs will be playing without two of their top four scores. So all of the pressure is going to be on Doncic to steal the show by delivering the goods on the offensive end. Our second betting pick will be under the total. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.